for me, uh, playoffs is like a boxing match. You throw a job, you take a job, you throw one, and they kind of even out. Um, they've gone to their corner, we've gone to ours, everybody's regrouping, you've got to start all over again. And if you come out with your, your hands down and you're not sharp, you're going to get knocked out. So um, we learned a lesson in game one. We can't continue to learn lessons on odd, odd numbers. Um, so we better be prepared to play in that building. We know they're going to be better. Uh, we know we need to be better in certain areas. So uh, rather than spending 60 minutes learning the lesson, let's try and adapt and be ready for it. Yeah, it was a big bounce back game for us. Uh, we didn't want to go down two games. So uh, going into the Shark Tank, they, uh, they're a veteran group over there. I thought we, uh, we bounced uh, back great as a team. And um, that game's done now. Uh, it's on to the game three. Uh, it's nice to tie it up, but now we're, we're back to square one. Yeah, be physical, but I think we can still be a little more smart. I think uh, there's a couple plays there that uh, we're playing with fire, putting them on the power play six, seven times a game. So um, again, there's there's learning tools that we can that we can learn from in game two and and move forward and, and get ready for game three. It's a feel process with the refs. You, you, you don't know what they're going to call, what they're going to let go. Um, you try to communicate as much as you can with them. But all in all, I think if we can clean that area up, it'll just help us. I was, drove home a couple hours after the game and it was still pretty wild. So, um, as players, you see that uh, the energy in the city and in the building, uh, it's fun. It's fun to, to play in front of our fans and uh, they deserve it. They've waited a long time for this and um, we want to make them proud. With our physicality, that we can clean up, we can stay out of the box a little more and that will only help us. But all in all, um, We've been we've been a team that's been physical all year. I don't know why we'd stop now. Um, it's just a matter of being smart about it. What's interesting is the the buildings don't change. We played in that building hundreds of times. Some of these guys have played their umpteen games. Um, it gets ramped up a little bit, a little bit louder, a little more excited. But the the game is still played on the same ice surface. We have to focus on our task. They're a, they're a very good ten minute team, um, especially at home. So we'll, we'll have to be on our toes early. Well, we, I, like I said, we want to continue to play physical. We think that's part of our game, but uh, we want to play between the whistles and eliminate some of the, uh, the obvious penalties, the ones that you can think about and, and eliminate. Some of them are reaction, hooks, holds, that type of stuff, and they're going to happen in a game. But um, you know, I think we can cut our penalties down by 50%. And um, their power play isn't going to be what it was uh, yesterday. They'll get it fixed and repaired, and, and it'll become lethal. And uh, if we continue on the path that we are, it will cost us.